83 Nintendo finally revealed the official title for Zelda Wii U and X, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We have seen tons of gameplay and there are already hundreds of theories about it. So where does the game actually take place in the timeline because Nintendo didn't tell us? Well, many people believe in this theory, but I think of the same but a little different. So what am I talking about? Well, I'll explain. Many people believe Breath of the Wild takes place after the Windbreaker, and that the Kuroks, the evolutions of the Kokiri, succeeded in their goal, and that the Great Sea was drained, and that the land and the forests would grow again. The Kuroks appear in Breath of the Wild, so then it must happen in the adult timeline, because the Kuroks just started to develop during the Windbreaker. So it makes sense that it takes place somewhere after the Windbreaker, or Phantom Hourglass, or Spirit Tracks, right? But we have forgotten something. Because in the final scenes of the Wind Waker, King Daphne's Nahansi Nahiru used the Triforce just before Ganondorf did, and he chose to flood Hyrule forever, and let the children build up a future, a new kingdom, so it can be possible that Hyrule was revived from its flooded state. Well, I believe that Breath of the Wild takes place in a new timeline, where King Daphne's Nahansi did not appear on time to stop Ganondorf. But well, first let me explain what actually happened in these last scenes of the Wind Waker. Ganondorf summons the Triforce after he captures Zelda and knocks down Link. He speaks to the goddesses of the Triforce and asks them to revive Hyrule from its flooded state and to give Hyrule to him so he will rule the kingdom. But just before Ganondorf lays his hand on the Triforce to grant his wish, King Daphne's Nahansen Hyrule appears and lays his hand on the Triforce to stop Ganondorf. He speaks to the goddesses and asks them to seal Hyrule under the sea forever and that the children can build up a future, a new kingdom. Ganondorf dies in a last battle against Link and dark clouds cover the land and the rain starts falling. Ganondorf is turned into stone by the Master Sword and King Daphne's Nohansen tells Link and Zelda to find a new kingdom. However, he stays on the water and drowns with his kingdom. But the Hyrule in Breath of the Wild is not flooded, so it can't take place after the Windbreaker. And how can these Kuroks appear in a non flooded Hyrule when Hyrule is forever flooded? Well, let's look at what we know about Breath of the Wild story. Link awakens in the Shrine of Resurrection after a deep sleep of 100 years, not remembering anything. 100 years ago, the Calamity Ganon rose and ruined the Kingdom of Hyrule. This story is told by an old mysterious man who actually looks a lot like King Daphne's Nohansen. Look at his nose, beard and eyebrows. They look awfully similar. This couldn't be if Daphne's drowned. So what actually happened in this new timeline with the information we've got? Well, Daphnis was just too late to stop Ganondorf. Ganondorf revived Hyrule, and by absorbing the whole Triforce, he turned into the Demon King, Ganon. He ruined and destroyed Hyrule after it became his kingdom. He was unbeatable, so he was sealed inside the castle. After that, the Kingdom of Hyrule stayed in ruins, and the old king, who failed in his mission to stop Ganondorf, traveled across the kingdom. He lived alone in misery for a long time after Ganon's seal. And what actually happens after the Wind Waker to Link? Well, this answer is easy. Link remembers almost nothing about his past, but we know 100 years ago, when he started his sleep, there was just the moment when Ganon started to destroy Hyrule. This means the game takes place for about 100 years after the Wind Waker, so there is only one possibility. The Link from Breath of the Wild is the same as the Link from The Wind Waker, but not remembering anything about his past. But why was he put to his sleep? Well, Link was unable to defeat Ganon after The Wind Waker, so he put back the Master Sword in its pedestal after he failed to defeat Ganon, filled with sadness. But suddenly, he is put to his sleep to wake up after many years to get a second chance to defeat Ganon just like in Ocarina of Time. All these years later, he awakens and the old man Daphne tells him to be the Sheikah Shrines, to 
to test whether he is worthy to be a hero and defeat Ganon. And this all makes a new timeline where Ganon revives Hyrule and becomes an unbeatable monster. An old hero resurrects and must prove he can defeat Ganon. Breath of the Wild does not take place after Skyward Sword or after Twilight Princess but after the Wind Waker in a whole new timeline. I hope you like this theory. Please give a like, subscribe and leave a comment about your thoughts on Breath of the Wild. And I'll see you next time.